is my my new baby. <laughs> eight weeks young. Uh, and her name is Pusu. It means kiss. Kiss. Yes. Okay. So very sweet. But now I try to concentrate. I'm not sure if I if I succeed, but I try. <laughs> so uh, in every year, uh, European Outside Art Association, EUA, has conference and general assembly. Now, of course, the COVID situation has, um, has cancelled all the live meetings, but in 2022, we are going to have mm -hmm. EUA conference uh, Hamenlinna in Finland. Mm -hmm. Before the, the, that great conference, we are going to have, uh, we, are, we are going to have a series of webinars leading us to the main topic. So today, uh, this Get to Network seminar is one of those Road to the EUA webinars. Uh, our EUA conference 2022 is produced by Get to together with our dear partners, Association for Rural Culture and Education, an ITEC Contemporary Folk Art Museum yeah. in Pop, also uh, city of Hamenlinna, and the Finnish Association on Intellectual and Developmental uh, Disabilities are collaborating uh, and actually supporting us with this, with this conference. And also these webinars are implemented with those partners. Uh, today, our main topic is uh, international collaboration exhibitions, and of course, Nordic Outsider Art Collaboration, NOAA, which is now five years old. Uh, we start uh, with the discussion of Hugo Carson, an uh, artist from Inuti, and Mike English, artist from Scotland. Uh, and after that, we, we will hear about uh, Nordic um, collaboration uh, and Karisilta people, Alexi Pietikäinen and Johanna Immeli tell about their experiences. And then the next presentation is full of good memories when Päivi Lilja, our, our um, Kettukis ex-director, recalls golden moments of Noah. And just before lunch break, and it's going to be a really short lunch break, we, we are going to have a guided tour to exhibitions here in Voipala Art Center. And then um, curator Elina Vuorimies from ITE Museum and I will lead you to the uh, Ketuki uh, Artist of the Year, Michael Rasmussen's solo exhibition here, and the Nordic Outside the Craft exhibition. But um, now, um, Let's start because we have so many things to talk about then. And please, uh, Hugo and Mike, could you uh, introduce yourself and tell a little bit about your, your collaboration at start? Or actually, you can lead your own <laughs> discussion like you, in a way you like. But, but <laughs> let's, yeah. let's start and, and please introduce yourself. Thank you. Thank you, Mina. Thank you very much. Um, Hi everybody, I'm uh, Mike Ingalls and I am an artist from Scotland and I uh, have worked, um, I work part-time with uh, Edinburgh University and I uh, am also have my own practice and I have visited Finland uh, and Sweden many times and work with uh, artists in collaboration and it doesn't matter to me if the artists are trained or the artists are uh, what you might call uh, 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 untrained, uh, I don't mind, it's just about collaboration for me. And uh, Hugo? Um, yeah. Hello everyone, uh, I'm Hugo Kallholm from Stockholm in Sweden and I work at the studio in the T. Uh, and um, yeah, I've been working a bit with Mike and really enjoyed it. Uh, it's been fun. We have had fun together, Hugo, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah, we have. A lot of fun. So, so I, I wonder if, um, to start with, we should maybe talk about um, what kind of work you make. Because everyone will be very interested in what kind of work you make. Uh, I work mostly in uh, black and white drawing, uh, in text and in film. Uh, I enjoy to try different mediums, but those are 
by three mains. Yeah, and you make you make a lot of uh, things. I remember when I looked at your desk, I was blown away with all of your model making. is amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's. Um, um, I enjoy working both in 2D and in 3D, and both are great uh, props for movies. So <laughs> I think that's what um, makes me think we have so, so much in common when uh, I work in 2D and 3D as well, and our work looks very different. But I, I was saying to you uh, on Sunday that. Uh, when I had seen all your dolls, I suddenly, when I knew I was talking to you again, I realized I have been making, I have been making dolls in, in, uh, in my studio over the last few weeks. So obviously you have had a great influence on me as well, you know? Yeah, that's really nice to hear. <laughs> I think your work is very, very good, very, very good, um, Hugo. But maybe you would like to um, tell me what you think is the been one of the best projects you have worked on are the highlights and it doesn't have to be a big thing you go admit it's something very personal uh, I, well two things come to mind and it's uh, first the out by art project because it opened up so many new doors and i got to meet so many new people and uh, that's how i learned to uh, make films um, and it's been an amazing experience and the other thing is uh, something that I have worked a lot in private. Uh, I really enjoy languages. Uh, and since I enjoy making up things, I make up my own languages and work uh, in great detail down to how their language evolved. And, uh, and I enjoy writing in it and drawing the language and explore it artistically that way. <laughs> yeah, I mean, your work is lyrical, I think is a very good word to use for it. Your, your model making is very physical, but when you start to draw, you have a, a very magical uh, line, and, and it's a pleasure to watch you work, it really is. Uh, and it's a lovely thing to collaborate together. Um, so mm -hmm. I wonder, we should explain maybe what our project was a little bit, um, because you, you and I, plus Marianne, began the project much earlier than everyone else because we started to exchange emails and because I could not be with you at the time until the project started we thought maybe I would share my creative process with you my frustrations and when I was blocked and when I was working and you guys did that back the way but we should explain what the, the project was travel agency maybe you want to say a little bit about your part yeah. I feel like my part was kind of uh, separated from the rest of the uh, travel agency since me and Marianne worked uh, in animation instead of, you know, sculptures and text. Um, uh, but you worked together, didn't you? And that was maybe something new. The whole project was really about collaboration <coughs> and and we weren't so worried if it was maybe two people collaborating or three or everyone. And I think it flowed during the week that sometimes everyone worked together, sometimes everyone worked apart or in pairs, but it was such a jumble that it was hard to tell who was working with who at any point. But, but how was your collaboration and how was your collaboration with Marianne maybe different to normal work, you know? Yeah. Well, it's, it's, it's both different and the same uh, because me and Marianne work well, very well together. Uh, so, uh, and we, we started our collaboration with Out by Art, even though we worked on our separate uh, films. We traveled together, we did uh, some interviews together, and we worked, you know side by side so we uh, got to know each other. So then uh, we started to get ideas for new films and that's when we decided to work on a film together. Um, and since we then knew each other and we are very honest with each other and feel safe with each other, that makes the work feel 
uh, like I didn't feel like I need to compromise with her. I feel like even though there are compromises, obviously, since it's two artists, uh, it feels like I come with my uh, my creativity comes with her creativity. Together, it um, combines and becomes something bigger. Uh, so it, in a weird way, it feels a lot like uh, working like uh, I'm used to, but at the same time not. Um, it's, it's hard to put into words exactly how it feels, but I really, really enjoy it because it's helped me grow as an artist and as a person. Well, I mean, that's a very, very successful collaboration. Um, and I think the work showed that too. It was very confident and uh, you, you, you projected your film in a plinth and you had to look inside at the end. So it was quite complex. It was a sculpture as well as a film. Mm -hmm. So I think that was, that was a real exciting thing for the show. Um, a mission graphic. I think I should probably tell everyone what our project was because we've, we have forgotten, in our haste, we have forgotten to say. Um, so the project was called Travel Agency and uh, it was a collaborative project. The whole aim of the project was for people to work together in a different way, but to use found materials and for there to be no hierarchy, so no one in control. So kind of like a circus, I guess. Uh, without without the ringmaster and with no lions, so it was it was good fun though it really was. I I enjoyed working with all of you guys. I thought working with you guys opened up my understanding beyond anything I could do. Being in the studio on my own, I had to work with you guys, all of you, uh, to understand everybody's kind of relationship to each other and to understand how to work properly. Um, with a group of people who have very different speeds and very different approaches. So it was very interesting for me, but I learned so much. And it opened up, I think, what you say about me is very interesting because the collaboration is based on trust and creating a relationship. And I think maybe from the outside looking in, um, maybe the people who came to the conference who saw the show would be focused on the actual, oh, look what you made. But the most interesting thing for me was the friendships we made and the understandings that passed between us all. So I was less interested in the work, which was great. I was more interested in working together than what we made, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it was a lovely process, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It was uh, really fun. It was very fast and very chaotic, though. How, how did you feel about that? It left me very tired, very tired. Um, well, I think um, since I was part of the movie that worked, we worked for a longer time, and so we could space it out in a little bit different way. Uh, so I wasn't as drained as others, I think. But still, I was, <laughs> when the, the any project ends, uh, it becomes an emotional roller coaster mm. uh, because the, both the head and the body is strained. And uh, I, I just have to lie in bed for a few days and try to focus on you know, eating and, <laughs> mm. uh, and um, not let bad thoughts to take over my head. Mm. So it's, it, there is a big price to pay uh, for any project, but it's worth it, to me at least. Mm. Uh, do, you, do you think some people would have preferred it to be much longer a project and take more time? Because this is what I need to learn. Um, yeah, I think so. Um, yeah. It's difficult because if you make it too long, it becomes too drawn out and people lose focus and interest and it becomes uh, a stressful project in a different way. And it's a hard balance to find between <laughs> fast and chaotic and slow and steady. Mm. Uh, 
and obviously it differs from person to person. Mm. Um, but I think it was, uh, I can imagine that it was in, in an interesting project and process for everyone, even though, even for those who felt it was a bit too fast. Mm. And of course you did an extra collaboration, which I just remembered when I saw him joining uh, today, uh, iPad 9, who is Anders. And uh, you, did, you did some work with Anders towards the end as well, because Anders made a, a sort of assemblage and you supplied drawings for that. So you had two collaborations doing that week. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't no, I need to do much. He did all the work for that. <laughs> it was good. I liked that. So, yeah. yeah. It's really cool. Um, it's, it's a very um, strange process for people to get used to collaboration, but is it something that you will uh, continue in your own work? Cause do you feel that it's uh, a, a thing that helps you maybe once a year or every now and then to work with someone else like that? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, now <laughs> since then, I've been working quite a lot with Marianne in different projects. So uh, I haven't worked a lot uh, on my own. <laughs> so um, again, I think that in the future it will be nice to uh, have yeah some sort of balance. Uh, maybe half and half work on my own, half and half work. Uh, with different people because it expands your uh, worldview mm. and, and even if I find socializing dif uh, difficult I still find it very rewarding mm. and I'm still very interested in people so uh, I, I think so too I, I found the very first time I collaborated with other people, I was incredibly intimidated by them. You know, other artists that I had uh, admired for a long time and I was working with them and that, I, 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 it terrified me to begin with. But by the end of that, I had sort of grown as an artist and uh, I felt more confident and I had new friends. And it, it was a really rewarding process, but I had to force myself to do it because I am, by nature, I will go to my own studio on my own and and just sit in a corner and leave me alone. I would just work, you know? So I, I found working in the studio with you guys uh, was one of the most exciting collaborations I think I have had, except for maybe one other. So in 10 years, you know? So I, I, I was so uh, full of the joy of it all and the creativity that we, we enjoyed together. By the time we finished, I actually, on the Saturday night, so we finished on the Friday and there was the conference and on the Saturday night, I was going the next day, uh, very early, and I was in my bed and I just cried. I just cried and cried and cried and cried. I could not stop. It was such a build-up of emotion that we had shared so much trust, I felt. There was a lot of trust in the room and we had such fun, you know? And plenty of cinnamon buns also, which I love. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the cinnamon buns are always a great bonus. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think um, we may be running out of time. I'm not sure what our time is at the moment, but maybe you could just, uh, by way of uh, finishing up, uh, maybe you could talk a little bit. Uh, you were saying that you've started training now, training other artists with film. Yeah, it's uh, one of the uh, collaborations I had with Marianne. We, uh, at the start of this year, we began a film workshop at Inuti. Uh, so we've been mentoring five artists uh, in how to make short films, because uh, we wanted to try and preserve the knowledge we gain and to spread it within the studio. So. Since when I, at least when I started with the film, I felt like I didn't know how anything. I, I, it seemed like a big mountain to to climb. Uh, so I wanted to give the tools to others to realize that it's much easier than you think, and it's a 
great medium to explore. So uh, me and Marianne have worked all year with it now. Uh, and we are nearing uh, the completion of three of the five movies. And it's been an amazing experience. And I can't wait for the, all of them to be finished so I can have a nice big premiere. And <laughs> wow, that's fantastic. That's amazing, thank you, guys. I'm so pleased to hear that. I look forward to seeing those. It'd be really good. I remember watching your films when I was in uh, uh, Brighton as well, and they were a highlight for the day. I loved them. That's very nice to hear. Thank no, you. Your work is great, Hugo. It's really strong. I think one of the questions you asked me is what was the difference between the art school, uh, where I worked a couple of days, and the studio? And I said to you that I think that... Uh, there's very little difference. I think you're very well provided, but I think that there is a much more holistic atmosphere in the studio, people working together for each other rather than being competitive with each other and trying to be the best. We are artists. We all have egos. We all want our work to be good and for people to like it, but it doesn't always work if you feel that someone is trying to beat you. So... I think the main difference with your studio and the art school is that the people are warmer and kinder and uh, the atmosphere is warmer and kinder because of that. And that, for me, that generates more good work. Yeah, I think so too. Yes, we are very supportive of each other and we are all there as artists, not as competitors. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> Um, I wonder if, um, should we maybe let anyone ask a question, if there's anyone who has a question before you have a, you have a surprise which you want to, to uh, uh, get, but I don't know, um, should we ask Zipash, do you want, does there anyone want to ask a question or do you? Yes, if there is some, somebody who wants to ask these two artists now, it's, it's a, uh, you can just open your mic and ask. Can I say one comment, please? Hi. I wanted to Hi. thank you so much. Uh, I've worked for 20 years in an art world. Um, and this, your discussion together make my heart, you know, blow. Because uh, what you said, Hugo, I've falling in love with you because, you know, uh, all what you said about collaboration and, and these different speeds and what you, when you combine different creativities, you become more. And uh, I think this is so beautiful to hear. So I really wanted to thank you about your beautiful discussion. Really, thanks. Keep us. <laughs> There you go, my goodness, that's such a compliment, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I'm very touched. <laughs> if anyone else wants to ask a question, they can type it in rather than speak if they're shy. And oh. If not, um, well, we should thank Pavi as well, because Pavi made this happen for us, didn't she? She was the orchestrator of this whole uh, NOA project, which we were part of, and then, you know, gave us all of that chance to work together and, uh, you know, made this happen. So maybe you want to, you, you have a, a surprise for Pavi. Do you want to? Yeah. Are you there, Pavi? Pavi, are you there? Maybe you switch your camera and say hello. So I'm, I'm not sure if Pavi is uh, now. Uh, there's one Hi. Hi. Hello. Hey, hey, hello. Hey, hey. Oh, it's so nice to, so lovely to see you all. It's so nice hello, to see Harrison. you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we have, I want to show you something that is from, is from me and it's from Inity and it's from Mike. Oh. So we're really, really happy to have been here and had a, an opportunity to do this. So I will try to show. It's going to be hard to see. But this, I will send it to you when it's 
ready. This is like our uh, goodbye present. <laughs> good luck. And good luck for the future. And we appreciate everything that I've done. And you're a wonderful person. So thank you, Kito. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> I'll I'll uh, I'll say something in a few minutes. So <laughs> thank you. It means a lot. Well, Pavi, I need to say thank you too because I think that was the most powerful project I've ever worked on, and the opportunity to go to the European Parliament with the artists was amazing. And I'll never forget it. So thank you. I'm going to try now too. Thank you. You know, we can get together and yeah. Yes. <laughs> Have been really, really welcome to. Yes. You're in my heart. Yes, thank you for, for Hugo. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Paivi. <laughs> you know, as you see, here is, uh, there is Alexi. Alexi, come here. Here, Johanna and Alexi, they have just arrived for, from Lahti. And uh, they are here. And after five minutes, they are just, perhaps you are ready. <laughs> yeah, they are ready to tell about um, Alexis road and way with Noah. So we are Johanna and Allo from uh, Kaarisilta Art and Activity Center from Finland. Uh, eli Kaarisilan taide- ja toimintakeskuksesta Lahdesta. Uh, Al Alexi has been uh, involved in this Noah project right from the start. And uh, also, I have been uh, privileged to be uh, uh, in this too. And uh, Allo ha has made a little presentation of this NOAA project and where and what he has been doing. So uh, we will start with this. And Al Alexi, ole hyvä. Yeah. Minä olen Alki Vieli ja olen työskentelä kahdella tarjouspysyössä 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 ja kerroin. Yes. And he said that he is working in the Kaarisilta art studio as an artist. And there you can uh, see some of his work. Olen, olen ollut mukana Nova projektissa. Tämä kuva on... Tämä kuva on näyttänyt eri kaudella ja kaudella. Siksi olisi esiin tärkeää. Okei, okay, this is a picture of uh, Alexis exhibition from Gallery Art Kaarisilta. And there is a textile uh, installation of his mother. Olen nämä projekteissa päässyt matkustamaan kukkuomaan Ruotsiin, 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 Tanskaan ja sekä Hämeriin. Yeah, and with this NOAA project, uh, Alexia has been able to travel to Stockholm, Sweden, and also Randers in Denmark, and also in Hämeenlinna. And this picture is from there. Olen ollut mukana erilaisissa työpajoissa minusta. Yhteistyö on ollut mukavaa. Yeah, and... Uh, he has been involved in many uh, different kind of workshops and cooperation has been really nice. Uh, one of the most uh, important things for Allo has been Out by Art movie project 
which, which was made uh, with Sven Blume. And there he has learned about movie making and he was able to shoot the film and it was one of his dreams that came true with this project. And he also had the chance to perform. This is uh, from the Moderna Muse Museum with the Out by Art uh, movies. Yes, and there has been quite many dif different art projects That's with Noah co cooperation and this travel agency one was one of the recent ones. We have met a great deal of new people and also Alexi has uh, met uh, other artists and it's been really nice to meet them and also uh, to see their artworks and workspaces and that is really important for an artist. Uh, also one of the things that it uh, has been nice for Alexi is that he has um, been able to travel and uh, traveling by airplane is fun for him and he also likes to uh, purchase uh, souvenirs. Uh, I'll told that all the new places uh, ha ha have been interesting and he has uh, traveled by metro in, uh, and also had sauna in the archipelago of Stockholm and uh, all the nice places that we have stayed during the travels that has been really nice and he remembers that he was 25 years old when he visited Denmark. And um, also maybe I will tell some uh, point of view from the uh, from Kaarisilta and uh, on the whole we we really think that uh, all of this NOAA cooperation has been really meaningful and it's important to meet and to cooperate and and uh, it's not just uh, only Alexi that has uh, uh, had a benefit from this this it's uh, many other artists too in Karisil that that has had um, opportunity to join and to do and to ex experience and uh, I think it's about sharing and getting new perspectives and also to be seen those are really important things and I think we have managed to do that in no cooperation so on the whole we, we are really happy that we have been able to be been in this and uh, of course we hope that many more things will come in the future. Thank you. Thank you very much, Allu and Johanna. So uh, this is uh, one day, one year we, we have uh, now experiencing a little bit different years than the others five years what we have had with NOAA projects. But uh, 
sometime we, uh, when we are just continuing, perhaps we can meet again, have uh, shared moments. Noan juhlavuosi viisi vuotta jo Noaa on nyt takana ja toivottavasti nähdään seuraavan kerran ja useampiakin kertoja tästä eteenpäin livenä. Mutta tämä oli ihana kuulla. Kiitos Aleksi, kiitos Johanna. Mä toivon, että meillä on nyt tällä hetkellä Päivi siellä valmiudessa. Päivi kertoo lisää Noan ajalta, mitä kaikkea on tapahtunut. And now we, we would have Päivi's words. Päivi Lilja is the author of uh, the Noah. And uh, I think she has many nice things and memories. Päivi, are you ready? Yes, I am. Uh, uh, can I share my uh, presentation? Uh, have you allowed me to share it? I think yes. Just uh, try a little. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I maybe I, sh I should introduce myself in the beginning. Yes, this, that's good. Since, since there is people I don't know in the, in, in the seminar. So hello everyone. Uh, my name is Päivi Lilia, and I used to be, um, uh, I'm an ex-executive uh, director uh, at Kettuki. I used to work at Kettuki six and a half years. And uh, I'm also uh, uh, the most uh, uh, the how, how, the most new uh, member in Get to Keep Board. <laughs> so, so I I it's not a goodbye at all. So uh, I I will continue following the field uh, from the different role uh, in the future. And I'm really really. Glad, and I'm sure we will meet again, and and we can still uh, uh, do some cooperation. So uh, yeah, uh, so it's five years, um, but you know, it, it's not only these five years. Many of us had been doing some bilateral cooperation before, so so uh, we didn't start. Uh, there was some, there was a history before Noah. Of course, we most of us knew each other. Uh, it's you know if we talk about this field, it's not a huge field. So uh, most of us uh, knew each other uh, in advance. Uh, but um, any anyhow, we had this idea that. Uh, since um, since um, national fields of outside art are somehow limited, so so we had this idea that uh, uh, most of the studios were willing to reach for the new possibilities as well uh, across the border. So and 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 we think that artistic. Uh, uh, for the artist, the artistic work in international networks is also uh, a crucial part of the career. So, and therefore, uh, we think that uh, uh, each artist has the right for for the co uh, international uh, networking and cooperation. And that was kind of the main. Uh, Starting point for for Noah for 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 bigger for for networking uh, in uh, in in Nordic countries. Uh, uh, before uh, I, I I will show you some some pictures uh, from from uh, from these five years. Uh, and and but before I, I will do that, I I want to share one of my golden moments. Uh, uh, and it was before we even started this uh, networking and cooperation. Uh, and 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 that was when I first applied uh, a grant for the very first uh, meeting where we were supposed to plan the cooperation. And we didn't get the grant, and and 
and and then I I thought that okay we will not give up uh, since since uh, I saw so much potential in in this Nordic cooperation and I made another application and the answer was positive and uh, yeah that was one of my golden moments I was I was yeah I could say that I was a bit proud that I I didn't give up I I, I made another application and then we got a resources to start the cooperation. So I have a few times I have looked back and said thanks to myself that I didn't give up, uh, especially now when I, I hear those yeah, um, discussion of Mike and Hugo and, and also when I, yeah, yeah, the result was worth it <laughs> to give it another try. Yeah, uh, so so no nowadays uh, or or maybe in the beginning was uh, was these five organizations from from Listanlanda Mera from Reykjavik and uh, Iceland and Gaia Museum from Randers, Denmark, Kettuki. Inuti, uh, Stockholm, Sweden, and Karisilta from Lahti, Finland. And we got funding from this Nordic uh, foundation of funders uh, and to start the cooperation and to go through these steps. But as we have seen, the networks, network has, growed, has been growing uh, during these years. And, and yeah, we got a possibility to meet live and the first meeting was at Stockholm in May uh, 2016. No, no, the very first meeting was in Finland uh, where we planned the cooperation, but uh, uh, where we met with a bigger group uh, was the uh, first time at Stockholm. And as you can see, we were many people and uh, maybe you can see that we had a great time and those um, like the first part of Noah was getting to know each other and and also I think uh, the crucial part of the successful cooperation was also that we really spent time in the beginning in think on, on thinking is uh, on thinking our uh, our common needs uh, instead of uh, uh, if you think uh, one possibility would have been that we would have planned just one uh, one uh, uh, single uh, project or something, but when we uh, spent time on on that discussion, that what we actually uh, want from the cooperation, and when we when we found those aims to uh, that we could share. Then, then I think the, uh, somehow the cooperation got more deeper and it got uh, like we were really uh, involved in it and really um, committed in, in the cooperation. And our main aim was to strengthen the connections between the organizations and artists in Nordic countries and, and to reach out new audiences. Uh, and also, of course, we wanted to think big uh, and in the long term, uh, the aim was to develop the accessibility and, and equality in art and culture and society. <laughs> uh, but also, so we wanted to uh, develop new new color, collaborative met methods and projects to work with in 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 supported studios. Uh, uh, so the first meeting and the first uh, I could say the first project was about getting to know each other and working together. And I think we found a nice uh, kind of. Uh, a structure uh, to start with uh, and that was that each of us uh, planned uh, a one workshop uh, uh, and, and each studio led uh, one workshop where all the others participated 
And that happened during 2016 and I guess uh, also in 2017. And it happened uh, both live as here at Stockholm, but also online. We met also online uh, uh, via uh, Skype. So we were, although we didn't have any COVID uh, back then, we we all uh, we already uh, we saw each other uh, through Skype, and it was quite nice to have a big screen in a studio and meet each other and and getting to get know each other, uh, and in that way also. And it's you know now now we all know that it's quite easy and it's, it makes you know the uh, instead of meeting once a year uh, you can meet many times in a year and and learn new things uh, especially i think we learned new techniques uh, by working together in uh, at that time um, and our thing uh, our thought from the beginning was to involve uh, besides the uh, artists uh, also also the art educators and trainers and I think that was one of also the crucial parts of uh, NOAA or is one of the crucial parts that we have made everything together so it's not like uh, we don't yeah, there is no difference uh, difference whether you are an artist or an art, art instructor. We've been here together, like always, <laughs> doing everything together. Uh, yeah, and then if I think of um, my golden moments or my personal golden moments, it's it's the moments where people have asked something the the moments where someone someone has asked like uh, why aren't we uh, like after we've done this workshop i remember some of uh, the artists ask uh, why aren't we doing something <laughs> like like the workshops uh, was they were great and it was uh, great to get known each other and learn new techniques but it was not enough like uh, then there was a good question like why aren't we doing doing something and that's that's i think that was like like the point where we uh, took the next step into next level uh, and somehow decided that okay this is enough now we know each other we trust each other we we have the resources uh, or if we don't we find the resources and and then uh, we are ready we have a great platform and we are ready to start um, projects together and uh, that's uh, you already heard from yuko about the very first like big project we did together uh, let's see. I, I think I uh, one one thing uh, I want to tell that we've always been had ha, had a great meals together. Like it has been also very important part of our uh, cooperations. We like eating together uh, after long long days. It has been great. But anyway, anyhow, um, we uh, we. Uh, uh, besides Out by Art, we have made uh, one other uh, movie uh, project, uh, and this was uh, 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 guided by Listan Landamera, uh, and it led us to uh, Reykjavik uh, International uh, Film Festival. Uh, but uh, yeah, so. So we kind of had a great platform for for great projects uh, and and uh, yeah I think uh, 
think the result if you I, I i hope you had a chance to you heard what hugo and mike uh were discussing together so so i think we cannot uh yeah it's so much more deeper than i can show you uh the golden moments are so much deeper than i can show you through these pictures uh so the uh, out by art project uh, uh, was um, produced by Sven Blume, a documentarist, and by, by Inuti, Lotte, Nilsson Valimaa. And, and it led us to a wonderful uh, journey, which I, I wouldn't say it ended up in, in Moderna Museet in Stockholm. But I, uh, it was the premiere of the films, and it was like, uh, yeah, it was so great. One of the golden moments, of course, to be in a full uh, film uh, movie theater in in Moderna Museet, where they needed to screen the premiere into a, a different room since all the people couldn't fit in. So that was. If you think of our main aims, which were to get new audiences, so we were there and we got new audiences, and, and that was just great. Uh, yeah, I, I'll go on with the photos. Um, then then um, I remember also one of the moments as I said, uh, the best moments has been when someone has asked something. And I remember in Denmark, um, uh, we sat down with NOAA people and we produced uh, 100 ideas what, what we could do together. And I remember someone saying or asking or wondering uh, why isn't no one telling about the silent places to visit, and that was so inspiring question and 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 made me think so much. And I remember that uh, an idea number ninety eight was the other travel agency, like the idea of telling. Uh, for the people about the uh, important places for, to visit or important places for the artists about their own surroundings. And that's where, where we kind of decided to have uh, to produce another project together. We applied, uh, applied the grant for it and got it. And the concept was that uh, all the studios had their own own uh, event, and then then uh, we had a main exhibition, which which was exhibited in in U European Parliament at at Brussels. We were invited by a member of the Parliament, Sirpa Pietikäinen, uh, who is also a member of Get to Keyboard. And yeah, it was great. It, I, I, the, the whole process was great and, and yeah, and the outcome, as an outcome of it, we had like so many, like so strong uh, stories from artists and and I learned so much uh, from from artistic thinking and about the creativity and and about the way they see their surroundings. And also, we one of the I, I wouldn't say a golden moment, but a strong moment was when uh, when I heard about uh, somehow I. I think it was also, uh, uh, yeah, uh, one of the one of the 
which is in my heart uh, uh, memory is that when when um, an artist at Gaia Museum uh, told uh, because they were they were thinking about their own surroundings and then they went to wander and see their surroundings and uh, I don't know many of you has been at Randers and you know that there is a huge uh, statue of horse horse statue in in the center of Randers and it's only like 200 meters from Gaia Museum and one of the artists said who lives at Randers that he has had never seen the statue before and it's because uh, usually they come uh, by taxi to the uh, to the studio, and I think I think our our one of our tasks or duties is to tell these stories also that you know our artists are they have a right for their own surroundings, and it's so sad that someone has not been able to go to the city center ever and seen the statue that I from uh, who lives at Hamelin have seen many times so you know that was one of my uh, like important moments so we had a panel discussion at, at the uh, normal normal work day a panel discussion at the Euro European Parliament uh, together with our artist and, and curator and Benelux uh, Finnish Benelux Institute director yeah and I think uh, Noah is more like Noah Noah was growing and we kind of uh, were we met new people and and uh, and and yeah here here you can see uh, Ulla uh, who, uh, yes and and Michael Rasmussen and the direct, director of Gaia Museum Anna Nuve Bovin we visited um, Nure Toppen uh, one of our at one of our uh, trips to to Randers so it's not it's not only uh, us five organizations it has given so much and uh, that's where I first met uh, Michael and yeah that was one of my golden moments I bought some, one of the works and got really I really admire him him and his art uh, yeah, as I said, besides these moments captured in in these pictures, I think uh, I think most golden moments have been those where we have felt the connection and and the creativity and and the trust among us. So so this is just you know some of the some of the photos, some of the moments, but I think um, those moments uh those special moments are in our hearts and um uh, i would like to end my my remembering by saying that uh that this year uh we had um, uh, plans to uh, develop the residency working and this is a photo from from uh, Sulheimar uh, Eco Village uh, from uh, Iceland, and we already had a, had a, a plan with uh, the Foundation of Artism uh, here in Finland, and also Vertaistaiteilijat. I'm not sure how do you translate your is it equal artists maybe uh, project. Uh, to go to Iceland and to start planning the uh, Nordic residency uh, cooperation. It's not just an, it, it is, it's not uh, only a NOAA project, but it tells how NOAA has given, like uh, nowadays it's, it's normal to think in Nordic uh, contexts. Uh, we don't only think of our Finnish network and, and we but we think in Nordic level and it's every day daily uh, in our daily basics uh, 
but since the COVID came, we couldn't do this at this point. But I hope in the future we will stick with the plan and and develop the plan and and uh, enable these residency possibilities for the artists. So I would like to say happy birthday to us, to Noah. And, and maybe if you want to share some of your golden moments, I'm, I'm very happy to hear, hear those. Thank you on my behalf. And thank you all of, of, about the cooperation. Thank you, Paivi. What a wonderful moment. And as you said, they'll be continuing. I hope we, we can see uh, many more projects. And uh, the basic, what you have done there is, is the ground where to go on. Kiitoksia Päiville näistä. Tää, tässä on tapahtunut paljon näiden, näiden uh, vuosien aikana hyviä asioita, uusia kontakteja ja ystävyyksiä on tullut sieltä. Nyt katsotaan, onko jollakin kysyttävää, kerrottavaa. Meillä on nimittäin nyt tässä, tässä kohdassa uh, Susanna Hintsala, Kettukin puheenjohtaja lähetti terveisiä, joihin me varmaan kaikki voidaan yhtyä. Now I have some greetings from Susanna Hintsala, the chairperson of Kettuki. So they are mainly for Päivi, because we all want to thank Päivi. Oh. There is so many things you have been done for us and for, for Kettuki and, and for NOAA cooperation also. And so what you have done, you have done it with your heart and with passion and that's, that can be seen. What have been happening here? These people here and uh, in online, I think we can all just thank Pavi very warmly. And now uh, I have the greetings from uh, Susanna in Finnish. So I'll, I'll just uh, give them to Päivi. Tänään haluamme kiittää sinua Päivi. Työsi Kettukissa on edistänyt erityistaidetoiminnan alaa tuntuvasti. Olet virittänyt yhteistyötä sekä kotimaassa että kansainvälisesti, etsinyt uusia toimijoita ja innostanut mukaan toimintaan myös muilla sektoreilla kuin taiteen ja kulttuurin alalla työskenteleviä henkilöitä. Olet kuunnellut kentän ihmisten isoja ja pieniä ongelmia, etsinyt ratkaisuja, auttanut akuuteissa tilanteissa tarvittaessa ja luotsannut yhdistystämme kohti toimivia strategioita, jotta voisimme vaikuttaa vallitsevien rakenteiden muuttumiseen paremmiksi sekä taiteilijoillemme että alan ammattilaisille. Kaiken tämän olet tehnyt lämmöllä ja asioihin paneutuen. Olet tehnyt työtä ajatuksella ja pitkäjänteisesti, sydämellä ja intohimoisesti hienon taiteen alamme hyväksi. Kiitos ja lämpöiset halaukset meiltä kaikilta. Kiitos. Kiitos tosi tosi paljon. Mä aina sanon, että, että tota, tai jotenkin tässä on, on nyt kiitelty, kiitelty kyllä ihan riittämiin. Kiitos näistä sanoista ja, ja aina haluan niitä sanoa, että me kaikki tiedetään, että ei tätä yksin tehdä. Et, et ehkä se, ehkä se tota tärkein, tärkein asia, mitä, mitä silloin ajattelin, kun Kettukissa aloitin ja ymmärsin, että, tai tärkein asia, minkä ymmärsin, oli se, että tämmöisiä asioita näin näin niin kuin isoja asioita ei tehdä yksin ja, ja tota sen takia niin kuin se, se selkeä, selkeä asia oli, oli tämän niin kuin, mitä itse halusin lähteä tekemään, niin tämän verkoston ja, ja meidän yhdistysten, yhdistyksen jäsenten niin 
kuuleminen ja se, että mitä, 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 mitä meiltä halutaan ja jotenkin tämän verkoston vahvistaminen ja yhteisen äänen, äänen niin kuin esiin tuominen, niin se on ollut se, se, se syy, miksi me ollaan menty nyt näitä askeleita eteenpäin. Ja, ja tota, olen tosi iloinen, että sen silloin, silloin aikanaan ymmärsin ja, ja tota, olen tosi, siis no te tiedätte, sydämellä olen tätä tehnyt ja, ja tota, ihan tosi tärkeitä vuosia ja hetkiä ja ihania ihmisiä kerta kaikkiaan. Kiitos kaikille. Maybe, maybe I can say uh, shortly in, in English as well, you know it. It, it's not a thing I, I couldn't have done alone. So, so like all this progress and all the all these steps we have been taking, it's we've done it together. And I'm so uh, happy to meet you all. You you really are in my heart, and it's not a goodbye at all. We we will meet again, and we will do things more great things together. And we have a great new director at Gettuki and a great board and, and, and great network. So let's continue. Thank you. And let's have a nice day today. Uh, uh, still, we want to, behalf of Karisilta also, thank you. And we have this little uh, uh, <laughs> magic lamp for you. No! <laughs> um, Aikalamppu muistuttaa niistä taijoista, joita olet tehnyt, ja ehkä se tulee aikoja myös tulevaisuuteen. No. Kiitos. Thank you. It's... Oh, that is so great. Okay. Thank you. Stigandla Ulle. Ulla. I'm here. <laughs> Hi. Can you see us now? Can you see us? Yes, yes, we can okay, see. Because I think our screen is a little bit dark. Yes, it is, but however uh, we can see. I don't see. know what happened. It's something with our camera. But you can see Michael, right? Yes. Okay, great. <laughs> because soon, Michael, we are going to see your works in live show here. Yeah. Uh, in live show here in Voipala Art Center, could you please tell us a few words uh, for the um, audience that uh, how would you describe your works or can you describe your works? Can you or Stolthu? Yeah, Stolthu. Yeah, Michael is telling you about the method. He's using yarn and wire. He's wrapping the yarn around his things. And uh, it's all started with a workshop we had at our school with uh, another artist who showed us how to make artworks out of scrap. We can, okay. see, we can see that it suits the technique very well to you because the results you are- see it, you like to go to technique. No. And the pass about to die. Yeah. The pass about to die. Du kan fortælle lidt om, at du er sådan en håndværks, den, den måde du gør det på. Du det er lavet med, lavet med håndværk. Ja. Hvordan starter du det, Michael? Med hængeren. Ja. Michael tells us it's, it's, it's not a, an idea, it's not a thought, but it happens when he uses his hands, he's like a craftsman. Right? So when he gets the materials in his hands, it all starts there. So, and it, it's developing during the process. And what about the names that you are giving for your works? Because what about the names? Yeah. He tells us that he he is he's uh, finding the names himself and sometimes we discuss it, the teachers and Michael, to find some funny names for it. Cool. Thank you, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> and follow us in Facebook. Yes. 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 We, yeah. 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 we can see it on Facebook. Yeah. 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 Uh, Siapan, we will leave the meeting as well now. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah.
Nice to meet you, all of you.